different stats when it comes to life. They still have the same total life, but they used to have 60 shields and 60 HP, and now they only have 40 shields and 80 HP. So it will make them a little bit more durable versus most attacks, although they won't be as useful for charging up shields from those pylon energizers, but I think that's... Uh, I think they're too mobile for that to be interesting anyway. So let's go ahead and introduce our place, but first let's get the sound going right. I think we need a little bit more volume here because I am louder than my than my Skype friend, so I can allow myself a little bit more sound in the game. In the top left corner on Circuit Breaker, in the green pieces, we're gonna have Balthasar. Let me know if that sound was too loud. It's a little bit too loud in my ears, but I can turn that one down. But if it's too loud compared to my lovely sweet voice, let me know. And in the bottom right side of Circuit Breaker, we're gonna have the cute and cuddly teddy bear from the clan Bestest Friends. I think Balthasar is also from Bestest Friends. Maybe he's not. But Balthasar is a pretty good player. He played a lot of Artosis and Tasteless, and man, this is loud. I'm gonna turn this down even more. Maybe it's, hopefully it's not too loud in the actual stream. Let me see if everything is good and ready to go. Let's have a look at, okay, things look pretty good. Um, we're gonna have Teddy Bear actually scouting really early. Okay, I thought he was gonna scout diagonally, but he's just scouting this way instead. He's bringing in the friendly chat, but I don't want to be friends. This is going to be blood and tears and protoss um, shields and souls going from zealots into dragoons rapidly. Um, yeah, that's just, it's, it's not that much blood with protoss really. It's and even with blood, it's beautiful and blue. Like it's there's no like protoss is the least gory race there is. I got disease. What? What? Sick. I gotta figure out what this is. What's going on, Teddy Bear? Here? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> was that was that a joke? <laughs> I have a disease. It's called being awesome. <laughs> it's so rare. <laughs> oh, Teddy Bear, you are awesome. can't type today. There we go, finally. Grammatically correct and everything. Okay, so wow, look at the similar builds here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. We're gonna have a Robo, Caldarian. This is identical. None of them are gonna try and... None of them are even gonna try to go for range. None of them are even gonna try to go for um, stalkers. Rest in peace, stalkers, I suppose. Um... <laughs> like, what, what, what was that building? <laughs> he types it. Hey, I'm coming back to scout. <laughs> Is that okay with you? He's like, sure, just come in. But don't, you know, the robot's pretty close to my ramp, so just a peek, and then I'm gonna chase you with the dragoon. It's like, okay, it's cool, it's cool, it's a plan. These guys are so awesome. Okay, so we're gonna, okay, there's gonna be some changes now. Balthasar is gonna go for the very quick, um, singularity charge, while his opponent is gonna go for a very quick robot. Okay, wow! They're getting Robo Bay at the exact same time, but Balthazar is squeezing in a Singularity Charge and a War Prism. Wow, look at that. How did Balthazar do that? Look how equal they are. He's ahead in supply? And he's squeezing on an, um, an upgrade that his opponent is not getting. And he's gonna kill it! No, that's Balthazar's. That's Balthazar's. He needs to get out of there. Get wrecked, Balthazar. That Dragoon is gonna go down. Hopefully, Born is gonna give some sign of life soon. I'm just gonna let him know that I'm ready to cast whenever he is. Uh. Okay, I just had to tell him this. There we go. So we're gonna have Balthasar's gonna go for. Okay, they're both gonna go for fast reavers. This is like super standard. I would love for to see one of them just try out a new stalker, but I don't think, I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it was too, enough of a buff to make it really viable. Maybe like, maybe like. If if they kind of get stalemate with the Robo Goon Army, then making a group of Reavers to snipe to blink around and be annoying might work. Um, but I guess it's something you have to do from the get go. Oh, I think I'm getting an answer from uh, my good friend here. Nope, that's someone else. Wait, is JT Gleason in there? What? He's on. 
He's not in here. Whatever. Okay, back into this game. Sorry. Other Skype groups bothering me. Um, so we're gonna have the range coming out for Teddy Bear now. Teddy Bear's gonna have to face the first Reaver. To oh, look at that. They're gonna simultaneously pretty much drop the Reavers, but Teddy Bear's taking the long way around. Butler's being a little bit more bolted, but he's bringing the goons too, and that's actually kind of dangerous. This actually puts Teddy Bear in a better position, I would say, because right now Teddy Bear is in a much better position to hold this than his opponent. Although he doesn't, does he only have? Okay, there's the rest of the dragoons. Oh, nice spread on the dragoons. It's gonna be really hard to do any damage here. Uh, did I say Reaver Blink? I did not mean that. I meant Stalker Blink, not Reaver Blink. I, I swear, we d Reavers do not have Blink, and they never should. Man, that's like as crazy as giving <laughs> giving Battle Cruisers Blink. Oh, wait. Okay, anyhow. So, uh, Balthazar is gonna keep his War Prism safe. Okay, hang on, be right back. So there, I thought I heard something, but we did have, sorry, that was actually a really hype moment, I just completely botched it. But, uh, Balthazar's gonna deny this expansion from Teddy Bear, which is fine, because he hasn't really taken an expansion on his own, and Teddy Bear killed 14 workers with that Reaver drop. So Balthazar feels really pressed to do even more damage, I feel, than he's currently done, uh, because he hasn't expanded himself, so either Balthazar should go for a really fast expansion, or he should do a lot of damage, and I think, I don't think he can do that much damage, he needs to be so careful. Teddy Bear is defending really well here, and he can't take an expansion anytime soon, and Balthazar kind of can. I feel really Balthazar should use this contain just to take an expansion instead of trying to do more damage. But he is down, look, oh wow, he's so down in Borkers though. Teddy Bear, that's a very bad idea. Oh, 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 what? Why did Teddy Bear drop a Reaver in the middle there? That's a nice little pickup for Balthazar. That was a really weird move by, by Teddy Bear. Ooh. Dead probe. Got a dead probe going. But yeah, that scarab from Teddy Bear was really good. I'm sorry I missed that. I just I thought I heard someone uh, shouting after me, so I just had to. Yeah, Balthazar, just just don't risk it. You're just you can equalize the situation now. If you put down an expansion, now, there we go. He's putting down the expansion. So I think Balthazar is gonna, if he can just deny this expansion for a long time and not get rolled over by whatever Teddy Bear is gonna turn out now, he'll be fine. Oh wow, two four prisms. Oh. Okay, I guess he only has two reavers, so there's really no point for a second war prison before he makes more reavers. But he, okay, this is important. Teddy bear has an observer. At this point, an observer is super, like that's super important. It's gonna give Teddy bear all the vital information he needs. At the same time, Balthazar doesn't even have, he doesn't have a single observer. He doesn't even have an observatory, I think. And is that? Yeah, that's okay. That's Balthazar's pylon. No, he doesn't even have an observatory, so Teddy Bear could actually have gone for some DTs and done some damage, but he's already done a lot of damage. But you see this is equalizing? See, the workers are about the same now. Um, and the expansion of Balthazar is actually faster. So he's gonna, he's behind a little bit on army, although Teddy Bear did lose that one reaver, so it's it's kind of stabilizing a little bit. Very interesting for a PvP. Um, we're gonna see how this goes. Why is he bringing one Dragoon and one reaver instead of both reavers? I think that's a mistake. I'm pretty sure there's... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and he doesn't have the speed that his opponent does, and his opponent's gonna get the plasma charge. And the plasma charge is so important in PvP. It gets plus forty extra damage to reavers. That's just incredibly important, and it might just complete before these reavers land too. It doesn't really matter versus versus uh, pros, but it is gonna matter versus these dragoons a lot. And he, yeah, he's chrono boosting that up crazy. He really wants it done. In the meantime, Teddy Bear is moving across the map with his units. Um, you know what? I think I agree. I think I would enjoy if this was like 9% faster. I think 15 is a little bit too much. Oh, here's a lot of Dragoons from Balthasar. Oh, Teddy Bear's just gonna go straight into a concave. He needs to be so careful. Here comes the Reavers. They're gonna come back. They're gonna they saw what happened here. Ooh, nice pickup from Teddy Bear there. Ah, uh, but I think Balthasar overall is definitely winning this battle, though. He, Teddy Bear needs to head out of there before he loses the War Prism. It's gonna be so hard for Teddy Bear to save this. Because he can, he can storm forward. Actually, Teddy Bear is doing more damage than I thought he would. And these Dragoons are not being micro. There we go. And there's no Reaver. Okay, he needs to get out of there. He loses a Reaver. There's no upgrade for these Reavers. There are upgrades for these other Reavers. Gets another Dragoon. But here comes two more Reavers. And Balthazar kept both of his Reavers alive. And now they have the damage upgrade. And Teddy Bear hasn't even started mining from this base. And he's getting more and more behind in workers. I feel Teddy Bear is just turning this more into an all-in situation. While his opponent is stabilizing a little bit better with these fast war prisms as well. This is gonna be very difficult for Teddy Bear at this point, I feel. It's kind of swung back and forth a little bit this game. 
Ooh, a sneaky little pylon over there. Can use it to recharge the shields and stuff. Uh, oh, this is gonna be some good scarabs. Look at that. Okay, one. Hit. Oh, oh, only hits the back part of those. He's gotta be so careful. He doesn't want to run into these dragoons. Oh, dragoons bringing the war prism down to quite a bit in health. And if you look at the workers killed now, no, that wasn't too many. But Teddy Bear's like, you got your reavers over here. It's time for me to go harass. And he's, he's brought another reaver with him. He has a fairly healthy war prism, although it's not as healthy as it could have been. Only one dragoon to defend, another one a little bit over here. These two reavers can pick off that dragoon easily and then go ahead at the workers. Or just try and just. Oh, he. Star doesn't pay attention. He doesn't see it. What? Oh, Teddy Bear with the money shots. He's going to kill so many probes. Look at that. That's incredible. He's going to kill these dragoons fast, too. I think he has the upgrade now. Well, these two shots. So he needs to get out of there. And he's just going to be safe. He killed yet another. Wow, he got 25. That was 14 plus whatever. You, 11 more workers. There we go. I can do some math. Starbuck PvP is hilarious. I would love to see some stalkers, man. It makes it even more hilarious. You can even go like... I've seen Sentinels even in PvP. So you don't have to go straight for Reavers, but it's becoming the norm now. So Balthasar is turned to get in there and try and do some damage with his Reavers. Oh, but look at how well defended Teddy Bear is. He's got to be so careful. Look at that war prism. 17 HP. Whatever happened to that pylon? I, th I don't think that was ever constructed. But Teddy Bear, with the sneakiness, that's a, l that's a lot of sneakiness. And I don't think this war prism is going to see... Th yeah, it's going to see it. It's going to see the sneakiness. I don't think he really cares. Oh, he sees a probe there, though. He's like, oh, yeah, there we go. Trying to kill a probe. There's no point running away, dude. In the meantime, though, meanwhile, in Balthazar's base. Nope, it's not going to move in there. It's going to use a lot of minerals to kill this pylon. There's 15 minerals per reaver, Sean. Did... Okay, they both... <laughs> look at the upgrade. They both have the exact identical upgrades. These, these, in PvP to win, these are the upgrades you need. Apparently. I think Observer Speed would be nice at some point. Ooh, here we go, Deviation. Twilight Council coming from Teddy Bear. He's going to either go for some Stalkers, or just go for some Speed Lots, or maybe just take up towards uh, High Templars. High Templars are pretty good. Archon, Archon Zella is really strong in, in PvP, but it's not a good opener, but more of a late-game composition. Okay, Teddy Bear again is going to try and sneak in there. Some Dragoons, he has to be so careful, but he's got the upgrade now. He can two-shot these Dragoons. Uh, this is like Siege Tanks, man. No, Siege Tanks don't even two-shot Dragoons. This is even better, but they don't fire as quickly. Very nice micro here from, but he's gonna have some reaver on reaver action. <laughs> that sounds so creepy. Very slow crawling reaver, a reaver action. Ooh, Teddy Bear with a bold third base. Balthazar hasn't even been com contemplating that yet, I think. Uh, oh, I was gonna say I'll take that back because I thought that was... Oh, that's a double double war prism all the way, man. Look, okay, Balthazar just wants to go and kill his opponent, and I think he could... If he loses this war prism, so he has to be so careful. But if he can keep these war prisms alive, Teddy Bear is just... Game sense is tingling. Teddy Bear, are you watching the stream? Oh, the delay is a little bit longer. Ooh, he's not, because he's going to fly right over his opponent's Dragoons. Now, they're both over their game sense are tingling. No, they're both going to be fine. So, Teddy Bear is just going to be defensive, which I think is smart, because he's trying to expand at this point. So, counterattacks is going to be very strong. And he has to leave some Dragoons in the main base. That's that's the problem with it. The PvP is like you can't move out with everything because then you're just gonna lose all your workers. Okay, here comes the Dragoons. Is they gonna see? Oh, yeah, it has to pick up the War Prism. Oh, okay, the War Prism is really far ahead now. And the Dragoons are okay. They're gonna try and funnel on the bridge. We got a lot of Reavers. Oh, he kills one. No, that was a Dragoon. Oh, he loses a Reaver right off the bat. Teddy Bear has all of his Reavers attacked, but there are four Reavers of Balthasar. Balthasar losing so many Reavers. That's a horrible engagement for Balthasar. He did not really micro those Reavers. So he's gonna lose another one. Ooh, Balthasar getting a little bit rusty, I feel. That was a very good engagement for Teddy Bear. Balth I think Balthasar could have won that if he had micro his Reavers better. But microing two War Prisms with four Reavers total is really difficult to do. Wow, Teddy Bear with the expansion head He's actually behind in worker supply, but he's way ahead in army supply. And Balthasar's going to have to to chill out a little bit. But he is wor making tons of workers. A lot more than his opponent is. I wish I could scream louder, but I have some kids that are trying to sleep, so I can't scream too loud. Um, we get, Okay, so High Templar production incoming now. Storm incoming. This is pretty good for... I think this is really good for Teddy Bear, because... Like, really, Reaver heavy compositions might beat this, but the point is, I think Balthazar's done making Reavers. Yeah, he's gonna go for this composition himself, so. This is a nice switch from Teddy Bear, I think. 
And here is a fly. Let's, no, I think it's a mosquito. And now it's a dead mosquito. Oh, I feel so good. A little bit of micro from my, from my own side here. I think this was supposed to be on top here. I don't know what happened there. It's kind of where they got flames just coming out of the ground. Okay. Focus. So third base coming in. Charge is gone. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to be right back. Enjoy the view of Monthasar. Okay, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> oh, lol. Okay, so Teddy Bear is mustering up a force at the middle of the map. Uh, Balthasar is moving out with a very powerful force. Well, he has two four prisons, but he doesn't really have anything to put in them. And to be honest, I would be a little bit scared to put... Yeah, he can put high Templars in them, but... Is he gonna storm drop? It's like I only need two. And that's true, you only do need two storms to cover the entire mineral line. Um... None of them has even opted for DTs, but it's kind of too late now. If someone can pick off the other observers, oh, never mind. There's some Dark Templar. Here's some store. Okay, wow, they're always moving out at the same time with harassment. Okay, this Dark Templar is just gonna die because it's gonna meet an army with an observer in it. Yeah, that was a quick death. This Dark Templar is gonna be nice for denying expansions, but here comes the storm drop. Oh, about this, but there's nothing to storm here. Oh, yes, there is. If he gets a good storm, off. okay, that is a good storm, but he kind of misses. Okay, wow, never mind. He'd get a good chunk of worker. I don't know if he has another storm in him. In the meantime, though, uh, Teddy Bear has a really big army. I don't think Balthasar should move, even move out against this. I don't know why Teddy Bear is turning around. He actually has the bigger army, I think. But I don't know if he knows this. <gasps> he gets the observer. Okay, there's another one here, though. But sending a couple of DTs could be nice. What happened to that war prism? It's over here. He's going to be a little bit careful. He's like, Chrono is going to vote in cannon. He's like, okay, danger's over. Let's go back with the workers. He's like, he, 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 he. In the meantime, uh, Balthasar's army is trying to not contend with Teddy Bear. Uh, no, he's going to go in yet again. I think he's going to try and want to contend while the storm dropping. Teddy Bear, in the meantime, taking his fourth. They're expanding towards each other here, actually. So at some point, they're going to start meeting each other as an expansion. This is going to be a long PvP, I feel like. It was looking to be, like, first it was looking to be Balthasar's game, then it was looking to be Teddy Bear's game, but they're... None of them has tried to capitalize on any lead. They just oh oh oh, he's got to be so careful. And here's a quadruple storm drop from Teddy Bear. No, you don't want to go in there. Okay, yeah, make an archon. No, there's actually one more storm in one of these high templars. <laughs> just kill it with a probe. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Ah, uh, he needs to rift out of there though. He's not rifting. He's just taking a lot of damage. Yeah, he's fine. In the meantime, okay, this war prism is going to sit there. I think Teddy Bear is looking... No, I was going to say he's looking to expand, but right now it's both both kind of stale. Um, I was just thinking, a group of stalkers at this point, could that do anything useful with a range upgrade? You could... No, there's too much static DI, I think. You could... Okay, oh, this is way more useful. Oh, that's going to be so much... Storm! He needs to storm more, dude. There we go. And he has one more High Templar, and his opponent doesn't know. Oh, that's a money storm right there. No, okay, okay, it did hit a lot of probes. Oh, no, don't go back in there, dude. Okay, he's, he still has one more High Templar. I don't think it has any storm in it, though, but total of 46 workers killed for Teddy Bear. That's pretty sick. You know what? Uh, Balthasar's not sure if he's going to defend or if he's just going to go and attack. He, this triggers an attack from Balthasar. Not sure if it's a good idea. This army from Teddy Bear, it might be smaller, but I feel it's got a better composition with the Reavers and the High Templars. Um... Yeah, and I don't think Balthasar wants to, he wants to group up a lot before he wants to attack into this. And although this feel very much feels like a death ball, I do feel that if these two engage each other, it will be quite soon apparent who's actually going to come out on top. So that's nice. Here we go, we're going to have Teddy Bear, he's going to drop the Reavers. Oh, very nice Reaver shot there, gets a high tempo. Oh, and man, I love this from Teddy Bear, just sending out a few Zealots to force out a lot of Storm. As right now, Teddy Bear's army is just becoming more and more superior compared to his opponent. I think Teddy Bear should just go and try and close this right now. I think he can't, but he's not gonna. He's just gonna chill. What are they doing? Yeah, a number of Balthasar's ahead in workers. If you look at the income, though. It's Balthasar's ahead in income, too, man, by quite a bit. 
How is that possible? Well, oh, actually, it has one more, more, mi more, one, one more mining base. This is the fourth of Teddy Bear. This is the fifth the bulbs are coming up right now. Uh, so, yeah. Teddy Bear actually is pressed to do some damage. Oh, but this is really good for Balthazar now. Gonna try and gonna kill a lot of drones there. In the meantime, though, Teddy Bear might deny this expansion. Yes, Teddy Bear is gonna definitely get this expansion. Tonight, another good storm drop from Teddy Bear here. Gets not too many kills. But Balthazar can't really contend with his army. He's trying to flank a little bit. But okay, here we go. Here comes the army from the high ground. Let's see if he can do any damage to the army of Teddy Bear. There's a lot of units coming, but they're kind of streaming in an odd, like, Archons in the back, Dragoons in the front. Not the best. Oh, very nice storms going all over the Dragoons. Balthazar has to be so careful not to get too close to the high Templars of Teddy Bear. He's sending out that. No, that's Teddy Bear's Archon. Okay, finally the Archons are getting in front. No? So yeah, Balthazar really doesn't have the units he needs, and Teddy Bear is floating a lot of minerals and gas, man. He can make a lot. Okay, there we go, he's making some more units now. Uh, very nice. But Balthazar has to turn back again. Man, this is... Oh, wow. Okay, that was Teddy Bear's DT. But Balthazar is trying to flank around. Teddy Bear has a lot of High Templars, they're just gonna die. They can storm, they can storm, but they're not gonna. Teddy Bear is really bad at storming High Templars being under attack. But these DTs are just defending everything because there is no detection. But the army of Balthazar is just gonna go for counterattack here with an incredible artillery this pylon. If he can get this pylon, it's gonna unpower everything, but he's not really focusing on it. Oh, don't bring the workers in there, there's Archons in there. It's dangerous. Just bring the DTs. In the meantime, he's just gonna push forward, and I think Teddy Bear has quite a favorable position right now. And Teddy Bear's DT is gonna stop these. Teddy Bear's DTs are pretty much stopping everything, but he does take a lot of damage, but so does his opponent. It's really hard to say who's ahead at this point. It's kind of turned into like some crazy basers. I feel like I'm playing StarCraft 2 now all of a sudden, but uh, a lot of times it is better to defend than to attack though. Uh, but Balthazar's gonna get this base as well, and Balthazar GG's and Teddy Bear takes the game. That was pretty sick PvP, I'm glad I casted it.